Home-built helicopters, often referred to as kit helicopters, are unique flying machines that aviation enthusiasts construct, typically as a hobby rather than a professional endeavor. These helicopters can be built from the ground up, using detailed plans, or by assembling pre-packaged kits. Although home-built helicopters are not as widely embraced as home-built airplanes, primarily due to the intricate nature of their construction, advancements in technology have significantly simplified the building process, making it both safer and more accessible for enthusiasts. With that in mind, here are some of the most exciting home-built kit helicopters in the world. Eagle Helicycle the Helicycle is a small personal helicopter available as a kit for those interested in building their own turbine-powered helicopter. This single-seat helicopter features a semi-rigid, two-bladed main rotor and is powered by a Solar T6232 engine. Manufactured by Helicycle Ventures LLC in Mesilla, New Mexico, the Helicycle is designed to be assembled by its owner and falls under the home-built aircraft category. The helicopter was conceived and designed by B.J. Schramm, the founder of Rotorway International, with the vision of providing a reliable, high-performance helicopter kit at a cost comparable to that of a mid-priced SUV. The Helicycle is designed to be assembled by individuals with basic fabrication and assembly skills, such as drilling holes, bending sheet metal and tubing, installing fasteners and running wiring. No welding or specialized aviation tools are required. It boasts features such as a fully harmonized rotor, elastomeric thrust bearings for minimal vibration, a modulated collective pitch system, and electronic throttle control. The flight controls are modeled after the Robinson R-22, making maneuvers like autorotations and quick stops similar in both helicopters. This design choice allows new pilots to easily adapt to flying their helicycle with minimal adjustments. AW95 The AB Helicopters AW95 is a small, single-seat, open-frame helicopter made for people who like to build things themselves. This new aircraft takes its cue from the Adams Wilson Hobbycopter, which many people loved back in the 1950s. The designers of the AW-95 aimed to create a helicopter that adheres to the U.S. experimental amateur-built rules. It has a single main rotor, which plays a crucial role in its ability to fly, and an open cockpit built for one person. This cockpit lacks a windscreen giving the pilot a clear view while in the air. The helicopter stands on skid-style landing gear, which helps it stay steady when touching down. A twin-cylinder, air-cooled, two-stroke, dual-ignition, Rotax 503 engine powers, the AW95, producing a strong 50 horsepower. The body of the helicopter is constructed from an open frame made of aluminum tubes, which are bolted together and reinforced with gussets for added strength and durability. Safari 400 the Safari 400 is a remarkable kit helicopter that is produced by CHR International, located in Mariana, Florida. This helicopter was previously manufactured by Safari Helicopter, which was formerly known as Canadian Home Rotors, in Ear Falls, Ontario. The design of the Safari 400 closely resembles a smaller version of the iconic Bell 47 helicopter, making it visually appealing and functional. This helicopter is a two-seat light aircraft that features a distinctive bubble canopy, which provides excellent visibility for both the pilot and the passenger. It is equipped with a two-bladed main rotor that contributes to its efficient flight capabilities, along with skid landing gear that allows for easy takeoffs and landings on various surfaces. The structure of the aircraft is primarily constructed from welded 4,130 chromoly steel tubing, ensuring durability and strength while keeping the weight manageable. The kit provided to builders includes several completed components, such as the main and tail rotors, rotor hubs, transmission, engine, cockpit, and tail boom. This means that the builder's role is largely focused on the assembly of these parts, making it an engaging project for aviation enthusiasts.
The Safari 400 boasts impressive performance specifications, including a maximum speed of 100 miles per hour and a cruise speed of 85 miles per hour with a range of 270 miles. It is designed to comfortably accommodate one pilot and one passenger, enhancing the flying experience. GNH-4 Helicopter When it comes to the smallest rotorcraft, the tiniest helicopter is the GNH-4 created by Gen Corporation in Japan. Its rotor spans just 13 feet, it weighs only 154 pounds and has one seat, one landing gear and one power unit. Unlike typical helicopters, it uses two sets of coaxial counter-rotating rotors, removing the need for a tail rotor for balance. This Japanese helicopter is intended to be sold as a kit for amateur construction. It was engineered to meet the US FAR 103 ultralight vehicles rules, including the category's 254 pounds maximum empty weight limit. It features a single seat, open cockpit without a windshield, four-wheeled landing gear, and four twin-cylinder, air-cooled, two-stroke, 10-horsepower GN, 125F engines. These engines provide operational redundancy, as the aircraft is unable to autorotate in the event of a power failure. The helicopter's fuselage is a simple open frame with a mounted seat, and the main rotors are fixed pitch, with no articulation in any axis. Steering is achieved by pivoting the rotor head on a gimbal using a control handle, similar to the way a weight shift hang glider is controlled. Climb and descent are managed by adjusting the throttle. Sikar 7B The Sikar 7B is an ultralight and kit-built helicopter that draws inspiration from a single-seat design originating in Argentina during the late 1980s. This helicopter is specifically designed for sports and recreational purposes, making it an exciting option for aviation enthusiasts. This light helicopter is an evolution of the Sikar CH6, known as the Angel, with significant improvements in performance and safety due to its robust and reliable Rotax 912-100 horsepower four-stroke engine. The helicopter features a pod and boom fuselage with a fiberglass cabin built on a steel tube frame and a long transparent forward opening canopy. The design also includes a simple aluminum skid undercarriage, which can be equipped with small wheels for ground handling or multi-tube inflatable floats for water operations. It is sold in kit form, allowing enthusiasts to assemble it at home. The manufacturers estimate that the assembly process will take around 200 hours. For those looking for a quicker option, a fast build kit is available, which comes with more pre-assembled components and is said to require only 85 hours to complete. The Sikar 7B can be equipped with a hook for lifting loads up to 220 pounds or fitted with spray bars for agricultural tasks. Hummingbird 300L The Hummingbird 300L is an innovative experimental helicopter kit designed with wheeled landing gear, making it suitable for landing on a variety of surfaces. This helicopter features a spacious cabin that can comfortably accommodate up to four passengers and it is recognized as a safe and reliable helicopter. The design of the Hummingbird 300L is based on the well-regarded S-52 helicopter which has received certification from the Federal Aviation Administration, ensuring it meets strict safety and performance standards. Over the years, the Hummingbird helicopter kit has undergone numerous improvements, evolving into a popular choice sold as an amateur build kit. This helicopter is classified as a single engine model, featuring a single three-bladed main rotor and a tail rotor for enhanced stability and control during flight. The fuselage is constructed from a combination of aluminum and composite materials, providing a lightweight yet sturdy structure. Powering the Hummingbird is a robust six-cylinder aviation aircraft engine, which delivers reliable performance. The kit is designed to be user-friendly, even for first-time builders with many prefabricated components with an average build time of only 1,200 hours, making it one of the shortest in the kit helicopter industry. 
No welding or composite work is required, and all major components come pre-assembled, leaving only minor fabrication tasks for the builder. Rotaway Scorpion 2 the Scorpion home-built helicopter is a remarkably successful kit that entered production in 1968. Before the 1970s, the level of skill required to fly and maintain helicopters, combined with high operating costs and limited range, prevented them from becoming popular with sport aviation enthusiasts. However, in 1968, BJ Schramm and Robert Everts launched the production of the Scorpion, a single-seat kit helicopter. This affordable design made it possible for individuals with an interest in personal helicopters to operate one at costs comparable to those of fixed-wing aircraft kits. Over the years, the design evolved into various models that continue to be popular in the home-built aircraft market. Initially, the Scorpion was offered as a single-seat model, but the Scorpion II, which featured an additional passenger seat, gained much greater popularity. Designer B.J. Schramm intended the Scorpion series for recreational use under the experimental aircraft category, in which it has been highly successful. The basic design has undergone significant changes over the years, with the later exec versions remaining extremely popular among kit builders and helicopter enthusiasts who couldn't afford expensive production aircraft. Early Scorpion II models were powered by an affordable Evinrude marine engine, which consumed approximately six gallons of fuel per hour. With a 10-gallon fuel tank, these helicopters have a range of 125 miles. The Dynally H3 Easy Flyer, now known as the Sport, is a Belgian helicopter designed and produced by Dynally in the Thines district of Nivelle. The aircraft is available either as a fully assembled, ready-to-fly aircraft or as a kit for amateur construction. The H-3 was specifically designed for flight training, utility and personal use, complying with European Class 6 Microlight Helicopter regulations, particularly the French Class 6 Microlight category, with a gross weight of 450 kilograms. The H-3 Sport features a single main rotor and tail rotor, a side-by-side two-seat enclosed cockpit with a bubble canopy and skid landing gear. It is powered by a four-cylinder, liquid and air-cooled, four-stroke Rotax 912 ULS engine, delivering 100 horsepower. The fuselage frame is constructed from welded stainless steel tubing, while the aircraft's gross weight is 450 kilograms for the micro-light category. Heavier weight options are available depending on the installed power in other national categories, such as light sport aircraft. Avimec DF One Dragonfly Helicopter The Avimec DF One Dragonfly is an experimental amateur-built helicopter developed by Avimec International and designed by Ricardo Cavalcanti. Avimec is committed to creating environmentally friendly, cost-effective and safe aircraft, and the DF One Dragonfly embodies these values in its design. Like some other ultralight, low-cost helicopters, the DF-1 generates lift using jets at the tips of the rotors. These jets are powered by hydrogen peroxide, which Avamec argues is a more eco-friendly alternative to gasoline typically used in helicopters of this class. The fuel is fed from tanks located next to the pilot and routed through the rotor blades. This innovative design eliminates counter-torque because the two opposing rockets balance each other out, allowing the tail rotor to serve only a flight control function. The result is a nearly vibration-free helicopter, making it very comfortable for pilots. The base model weighs just 234 pounds, reaches a top speed of 115 miles per hour, and boasts an impressive climb rate of 2,000 feet per minute. With the standard fuel tank, the helicopter has a flight time of about 60 minutes, which can be doubled with an additional tank. Although the base model is minimalistic, the Dragonfly is designed to be a versatile ultralight utility helicopter. It can also be equipped with floats and agricultural sprayers, enhancing its functionality. While the DF-1 is not yet in production, Avamec has plans to develop a two-seater version for the open market.